Hey viewers, it's Tuesday here on The Pagan Perspective. I'm your host, Kara, and this is week 51, which means we're almost at a year. This week's topic is food in magic or in ritual and uh, sort of what foods go well with ritual or what we like to do. And for me, food in ritual isn't as much as I would want it to be because ideally when I have my own house and I have more time and the means to do more, I want to celebrate all of the festivals with, you know, big parties and having all my friends over and lots of food. And so food will be a little bit more prevalent then. Right now, when it's just me, food in my practice is normally just another decoration to my altar, like especially for the harvest festivals, I like to have apples around my altar, um, crab apples if I pick them from outside, berries that I've picked from outside I put on my altar as decoration, and then also I use them for offering, because when I'm not using my offering stones, which I did make thanks to Crazy Boy TX's recipe for them, prior to that I would just offer things that we had grown in our garden, herbs, things like that. Other than offering, though, food comes into my practice through communion or libation. So I have a little, well I had a little bowl that I would use for libations, and I have my chalice, and at the end um, I would of course do my little communion thing, and then after I would put the part of whatever I had to drink and eat out for the god and goddess. I like to do that in general if I'm eating outside. I pretty much always do that just at the end of my meal. The first festival that I ever celebrated as a big party was Ostara years ago. Um, I've talked about it before, it was a big party thing, and we made the crescent cookies or the moon cookies from Solitary Witch, and I really really liked the recipe, so it was the first recipe that I ever made purposely for festival, and then I've made it after that to use as communion and things like that, and so I have written the recipe down on a recipe card courtesy of my mother, because I want to start keeping recipe cards because I'm going to be a re recipe card kind of person. So I have my recipe card here, and I decided to make moon cookies tonight, which is a lot of the reason why this video is up so late. I apologize. There will be a vlog on my personal channel probably tomorrow or the day after um, about my day, Tuesday, August 3rd. Uh, I was at the vet all day with my black cat, Mystery, and she's actually home for the night, um, but we have to take her back to the vet tomorrow. So by the time I got home, I had to then bake and record the steps for that. So this is just going to be a really quick video showing you how I baked my cookies. Um, it's really straightforward, and if you've read Solitary Witch, you probably did it. And also the recipe in there for the witch's brew that's made from apple cider, oranges, apples, cinnamon sticks, nutmeg, things like that. Love that. Love that. I'm totally making that this fall. As soon as I get my hands on gallons of apple cider from the place up the road, totally gonna happen. So I hope you enjoy this video. I will see you guys next week. Thank you for watching, Mwah! and blessed be. When the dough starts getting super dough-like, I switch to the wooden spoon. This is tough work. I have no arm muscle. Hey look, dough! Mom has prepared the cookie sheets. Here we go. idea what those are going to come out looking like though. I might be the messiest baker in the history of the world, but I made cookies! <laughs> and I crumbled two of them getting them out of the oven! One That's the cat! Oh, they're really warm. I'm sure the dog will like them. Well yeah, they just got out. I just topped them. Look how messy. Mom's eating one of the ones I crumbled. Mmm, nom nom! Are you lying right now? No, I'm not lying. 
These suckers are good. I've been waiting for you to make them. Down Look down. how fat they get. Down, down. <laughs> you have to make them really tiny because they plump up. Look at my goddess one. That is that is a proper goddess now. <laughs> That's a goddess? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. If That's a goddess. If it didn't have sugar and stuff on it, you could tell there was her body and the head and two arms. The only bad thing about these cookies is if you're not making them for a specific event, they sit in your house forever. That is the rest of batch one. We've eaten like three. This is batch two. I have triple moon cookies. Look at how fat they are. Look at how chubby and fun. So yes, powdered sugar and cinnamon sprinkled on top. I used a little sifter thing to... I didn't use it on the cinnamon though, that's why the cinnamon looks really bad. But yeah, gonna make the rest of these, yay!